Hey everyone, Jared from Yoda Expedition here. Today I got an upgrade for you guys with the third gen Tundras. These are going to be fog light upgrades to get rid of those OEMs and get something in there with a little bit more power and maybe some customization with the amber lenses. This kit from Diode Dynamics is a direct replacement for those OEM fog lights and it will include two SS6 light bars that are going to bolt in place with the included brackets. So both these lenses are wide angle fog light lenses, but you do have the option to go with the 6,000 Kelvin white light or the 2,000 Kelvin amber light. These light bars to replace your fog lights are going to have greater intensity and throw than the stock lights from Toyota. And the white are gonna come in at 13,000 candela, where the amber come in at 7,400 candela. Both of these lights are SAE compliant and they're completely plug and play. No cutting or drilling is required anywhere on the vehicle to get these installed. And all the hardware you need is included in the kit. That being said, let's kick this over to Corey. He's gonna show you how to get these installed on your Tundra. All right guys, Jared gave you the rundown on these fog lights from Diode Dynamics. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get them installed on the third gen Tundra. For tools, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. We have a plastic prying tool here and then we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet for the brackets on the new fog lights. So let's go ahead and get this trim piece popped off on the front bumper, it's pretty easy. So on the front of your Tundra, you're going to have this trim piece here on your front bumper. This is what we're gonna to have to pry off. So you're gonna have clips that run along the top, on the bottom, and then there's gonna be some, uh, a piece on either side that we're gonna to have to get out from the outer portion of the bumper. It's pretty easy to get off. We're gonna be using that plastic trim prying tool and uh, we're gonna put it in between the trim and the bumper, work our way along and pop out all of the clips. So we got all the clips free on the top. Now right here on this little section, you're also gonna have some clips so get that in there and pop those out as well. So while you're trying to get this out, I'm also going to be pulling out on the center. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of bow the whole molding or trim piece and it's gonna give me a little bit more room to get that out without it uh, scraping on the painted surface. So once you have that piece off, your fog lights are easily accessible. There is a Phillips head screw, one on each side. We're gonna go ahead and take those out. Pull out the fog light, go ahead and unplug it. Simple as that. So with the OEM fog lights out, we are now ready to start assembling the new Diode Dynamics one. We got our brackets here. We're gonna get those bolted up onto the new fog lights. So you're gonna get a bag of hardware. You're only gonna need um, particular bolts out of here for these brackets. So there is a um, 10 millimeter bolt. We're gonna need one for either side. So there's gonna be two per bag. Take those out and then we can get these brackets bolted onto our new fog lights. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get the brackets bolted on to the light bars. So we're gonna be bolting the brackets on. In this orientation, we're gonna be going into the upper slot and getting that 10 millimeter bolt snugged up. We're just gonna snug these up. You wanna be able to move these brackets around so that we can do some final adjustments. So now that we got the brackets mounted onto the lights, we can go ahead and plug in the wiring uh, harness from Diode Dynamics. The one end's gonna go into your light bar and the other end's gonna go into the factory plug on your Tundra. So back at the truck, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. This plug can go in either way. So you just wanna test the light and make sure that it is plugged in the proper uh, orientation. All right, we tested the light. Everything was working properly. Go ahead and feed the wires in and we'll go ahead and get this screwed up.
Now you are screwing in the plastic, so you don't want to get too crazy and strip it out. So uh, just use your best judgment and snug it down good. So for the inside screws, I have the screw all the way at the bottom of the slot. And then for the outside screws, I have the screw all the way at the top of the slot. And that gets the light pretty level. Now you just need to worry about how you want to have this and then tighten that down. So once you're happy with the placement of your lights and you have them adjusted how you like them, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the trim piece here on the bumper. So I just went ahead and put this back on. Um, when I tightened down the lights, I had them pulled as far forward as they would go and um, they were hitting and not allowing this to clip on all the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen those bolts and push the, uh, the lights back just a little bit. All right, trim piece is back on. Everything fits like it should. The light has a little bit of clearance, so we're not hitting there. So we should be good to go. All right guys, and here we have the amber fog lights on the Tundra. That's gonna wrap up this install video. If you guys have any questions, let us know down in the comments. And if you wanna pick up a set of these for your Tundra, you can click the link in the description or head over to yodaexpedition.com. Thanks for watching.